Here is my haul for Monday. We got some cuties. Keep away the colds. We got some broccoli. Little cuts. Try to make me some broccoli casserole. I got some ground beef chuck for my taco salad today. I'm going to try to make it more healthier. Get some bacon. Uh, we got some tenderloin, little small, thin tenderloins. Then I got me some of these. These are my hubby, two of them. We got these to try. These wedges season. I got me some more yogurt. I really like it. Got some squash in the bag. I got me some bananas. Some cream cheese for my pumpkin rolls. Some unsalted butter. Some more cheese. Oh no. I got the whole wheat crackers, Ritz for my stuff, for my casserole. Got some of this to clean my dishes with. Wainers. My hubby's milk. I'm going to try to make my broccoli casserole with this cheese i don't know if it'll work but i'm gonna try sour cream Get this over here got some of the sam's cola zero sugar and two loaves of bread you see it over there and that is my haul Hope you enjoyed it. Here's my taco salad, a little bit healthier. No, ch no um, chips and no salsa. Just tomatoes, lettuce, meat, and cheese and sour cream. I thought it would be a little bit healthier for me. It is a huge portion, but this is my first meal and it's what I choose to eat. Hello, I just wanted to say that we had an amazing taco salad, although it did not have all the ingredients that um, usually comes with my taco salad, but it was still good. Um, I was trying to eat healthier. I know the sour cream is still 
bad, but I had to have something. I didn't have the chips. I didn't have the salsa. I figured the salsa had sugar in it, and the chips do too. So what I did, I just did like regular tomato, lettuce, the hamburger. I need to learn to make my own um, season so I don't get all that nastiness that they put in the season that's already made. But right now, I haven't learned to do that just yet. And I also have my cheese. And then, that's that's all I'm cutting out of it. So, like it or lump it, honey. Like it or lump it. I love my cheese. I know my diabetes is bad. I know I have to take care of myself. Sorry, I just got out of the shower. And I'm sorry for the ones that don't like my hair. I have dyed my hair dark for a long time. My hair is actually a dark brown anyway. Um, so I figured if I dyed it really dark that it would lighten up and it would just be pretty, you know. Later, I can still see some of the red and you can't because it's not well lit in here. But I can still see some of the red when I go to the bathroom and look in the mirror. Sorry, my arm's itching. But, uh, then I made homemade brownies. I tried to use my stevia, but I couldn't, I didn't, I didn't have the packets. I didn't have all the packet. Like, I didn't have the big thing, like the big pouch. I had just packets, you know. So, next time I'm going to buy me some actual packet, like the big pouch, so I can put more sugar in it. Um, and actually they turned out pretty good. I made it from cocoa powder. Next time I need to get some whole wheat flour. I've never worked with whole wheat flour before, but next time we got to make some whole wheat brownies. But, uh, yeah, so, I did do that. I hope you guys are enjoying my Christmas tree. Um, I hope that you guys are having a wonderful, almost Thanksgiving. Uh, I will actually be having my Thanksgiving on Friday. Um, due to some people have to work on Thanksgiving, so that will be taken care of. I'll still get to pig out. <laughs> it was brought to my attention about one of my friends and her name is Pink Fairy. And I am friends with her. Um, and it's okay if you don't like her, okay? Anybody. Um, I like her just fine. I think she's a good person. She does what anybody else does, okay? She eats on camera. She's, you know, sometimes by herself. And especially in the mornings, you know. And she just has a cup of coffee or something to eat trying to just talk to you guys and I don't see anything wrong with what she's eating I mean yeah we all overeat I overeat and I'll say it once twice and again and again and again I overeat why can't we just enjoy living why can't we enjoy breathing instead of criticizing someone because they're fat or because they're going to die one day let them live their life and I have nothing to do with it okay I Pink Fairy and I are two different people she's my friend and I eat the way I want to um and yes I am trying to cut out a lot of my sweets I'm trying to cut out a, a lot of things but sometimes you have to live, you know, you have to, you have to, uh, 
I mean, say this, okay? Say you cut out all the soda, all the sugar, um, all the good food that you like for nutritious food, which is wonderful. But say you wake up the next day and go to the doctor and you find out that you got something that you can't control. Food can't control everything. And if you're going to die, you're going to die. Okay, we're all going to die. And that's something I've come to terms with. My mom used to say this, I'm going to die of something, you know. So why not eat what you want? I mean, yeah, she's eat, I should eat healthier, not her. I have nothing to do with her. She is my friend. I have nothing to do with what she eats. But I do know that she's a delightful person to talk to. She's got a good heart. Uh, I don't see nothing fake about her laugh. I, I think that, you know, and people talk about her daughter. Why? Why are you talking about her daughter? Don't you know that people get offended by talking about their kids? That's not right. You know, and then, like, a lot of people wanted Pink Fairy to come back and stuff like that. And then, all of a sudden, she's getting, you know, trashed because some troll wants to try to say that she's doing this, doing that. No, she's she's eating just like me. Yeah, I, I overeat. Yes, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes every day. And I do regret them. Get in the window. Get out. But anyway, I regret overeating. I don't like to do it. But, and no, I don't have an eating disorder. And I will not pretend to have an eating disorder just to um, promote my channel. I don't do that. That's not. I don't wish that on anybody because I'm pretty sure it's it's horrible. I don't know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to crave something and, you know, then finally when you get it, you overeat it. That's just how things happen. People are, they're not perfect. God died on the cross not God, sorry. Jesus died on the cross because we are imperfect. And yes, I know I say God. I meant Jesus. He died on the cross because he knew that we were going to be imperfect. So why can't we just leave people alone and be nice? I know that's not in some people's nature. I don't know if people just have a personal vendetta against people, you know, you know what I mean? Like, what point is it to down somebody because they're fat? I'm fat, okay? I am fat. Okay? I can stick my neck out like this all the time. I know I'm fat. I look in the mirror every day and look. I got these chubby cheeks. I've had these chubby cheeks all my life. And I just don't get people trying to down people because of their weight. Why can't you look at their heart? What has some, she done so bad? You know? What would I have done so bad for somebody to hurt my feelings? Other than this video right here that's probably going to offend some people. Which I hope it doesn't. I'm just telling you how I feel. Why can't we just be happy that we're breathing? Why can't we just be happy that we have our loved ones in our life? Why can't we just be thankful for something? Isn't this the name of Thanksgiving? Be thankful. I mean, how would you feel if somebody you made fun of or on the internet or and you heard they had they had a horrible accident or they committed suicide 
how would you feel to know that you had a hand in hurting them or killing them, possibly? That's not right. You know, lighten up. Okay? I know, and, and I do know if I eat a hundred cakes, let's say, uh, how about, let's just do something, if I eat, you know, about three candy bars, I know my sugar's gonna go up, which means I could be in a hospital, I could be in a diabetic coma, just what happened to me not long ago, I wasn't in a diabetic coma, but I was headed there, and I did that by not taking my medicine. Because things came up, bills came up, and I had to do that. I had to skip my medicine. That's how things happen, okay? Uh, so you can't judge me, you know, based on what I eat. Because you really don't know what I eat. Not everybody shows you what they eat all the time. But... That's not the point here. The point is just love each other. Like I said, what would you do if you you heard over YouTube that that I hurt myself because somebody said I was a pig or I was fat or they saw my jig jiggle jiggle, okay? My jiggle jiggle. Look, jiggle jiggle. That's my jiggle jiggle. Okay? I can't help, I mean, I can't help it. But some people, you know, I just believe are meant to be bigger. They're not meant to be smaller. Or maybe they don't have the energy to do exercise. Like, I don't. Every day I wake up, I'm like, oh, I'm going to kill it. I'm going to exercise. Guess what? I don't. I want to. But, you know, I just get, I, I'm getting, I'm depressed. Because, you know, the holidays are here and my parents aren't here, okay? I, I've accepted that I'm a depressed person. And I, I'm not getting on this medicine. I'm not getting on no medicine, okay? That's, I can deal with it, okay? I know my limits. I keep cried out. And I also have a very supportive husband that goes to work every day to support me. Put food on the table, pay the root, the apartment bill, so I can stay here. And he's a very good emotional supporter. But let's just love each other. Let's just cut it out with the picking on somebody because of what way they eat or who they, you know, who they're friends with. Let's just love each other, okay? I know I'm not gonna make a difference, but. I wish, I just pray that we could just all just love each other. But anyway, besides that, my main focus is me, of course. Sorry. Um, we're not having Thanksgiving until Friday. I don't know if I told, yeah, I did. And that's because some of us have to work, not me, but some people that are coming are going to have to work. So, we're going to have to cancel ours until Friday. But the good thing is that the shelves will be restocked Friday so we can have plenty of food. I don't know, Black Friday, I forgot. Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful night wonderful day wherever you are and please don't take what I say in the offense it's just I feel like that people need to just stop picking on people the way they eat the way they look the way they sm well not smell because you can't smell to the camera but I mean you know but anyway I'm gonna get off here I love you guys and please leave a comment and if you have a rude comment, please don't leave it. I mean, I really don't like reading the rude ones. But so far, I haven't got any rude ones. And to the people that have commented on my pizza thing, 
I do understand that, you know, the delivery people don't get paid much. Um, we usually do tip. But yesterday, I found that I just found out that I could get a free pizza. And I wanted to know if it was really free. So that's why we did what we did. There was really a $4 charge and then my husband added a drink. It's going to come up to $10. So, but we usually do tip. And it don't. I don't think it's right to not tip. If you don't have money to tip somebody, do not go eat at a restaurant. That's how I feel. Alright guys, y'all have a lovely. Please like comment and subscribe and put your notification bell on i finally said it